So the first order of business is going to be just to set up the basic layout for the site. This is the finished product, something I've worked on before shooting this video, um, but this video is going to show a quick way on, on how I got to this point. So I'm going to fire up Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver is definitely my favorite uh, editor to do to do um, HTML and websites, but by no means is it the only one uh, out there or the best one. Oh well, eh, maybe I'd argue it's the best one, but for for what we're doing. So I'm just going to create. Well, there's a few. Let me just backtrack. There's a few assumptions I'm going to make. The first thing is that you've already created your site root, and you've you're going to organize your um, files on your desktop the best way you know how, and that you have obviously some kind of remote hosting thing, and you've tested it, and you know you could upload to it. So that would be the first step prior to even firing up any editors that you have these things. Um, so I'm going to start by creating the first index file. So I'll create new. It's going to be completely blank page. Um, I already have the benefit of using Dreamweaver. Obviously, it has all the information I already want, like the header information. I have uh, the doc type is transitional. Has a little more info on that. Um, it has my char set on there, which is just my character. Um, nothing that we need to discuss now. So first thing I'm going to do is just title it. This is going to be my index page, so um, I'm just going to name it Welcome to my site. Whee. All right. And that's right there. And now I'm going to save it in my folder. This file is going to be my main file, index.html. And I know in order for me to get something like this, pretty simply I just need one big div that's going to be right here in the middle so although I don't even have it set up yet I'm gonna go div ID equals and I'm gonna name it container but there's no actual style to it yet so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna put in some some dummy text for now oops there we go, and then I'm going to close that div tag, and I always like to put my comments over here that it ends container. I mean, it's a no-brainer now because we don't have anything in there, but I'm not sure where this is going, so I kind of feel it's best practice to comment because if this thing starts to get ugly, um, which a lot of pages tend to, you always have these comments, and instead of having all these closing div tags, you actually know what it's closing. So the CSS refresh still has nothing. So now what I'm going to do is create a style sheet and attach it to this thing. So here we go. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to create a new style definition, actually. And it's an ID selector, right? If a class you could use over and over in um, your page, but an ID is going to be unique in a page. And also, the clue over here is that I put div ID equals container. And obviously, the name, I'm going to have to name it, obviously, because I want to target this container over here, is container. Just if you're going to be using Dreamweaver, make sure you don't choose this document only, because using this document only is going to embed this style up at the top uh, in the in the head portion of it, so it's only going to be it's only going to pertain to that specific page as opposed to something external. We could link to multiple sheets. So we are making three page website. We want to have an external. So st uh, new style sheet file is what we're going to do. Click OK. Um, the way I organize my f my files on um, on the on the computer on the on the server is I create an assets folder and you know lately I've been thinking maybe there could be a better way of doing this and I kind of research and see what other people are doing but usually I create an assets folder and in there are other subfolders sometimes it's CSS actually I, I stopped doing that though I just put the CSS right in the assets folder but still if I'm gonna when I make my images I wanna put a folder in there called images into my uh, assets. It's a personal choice how you're going to do it, but basically what I would recommend you do is um, 
create a system for yourself that you do over and over and over through all your projects and you can probably start that by just doing some research online on how other people are doing and best practice same thing with naming these things that's the trickiest part about CSS when people are learning it there's a lot of ways to do the same thing and I know we're not even talking CSS yet we're just talking about how to organize your files and naming conventions and that stuff but it's kind of like when you're first learning you're so anxious to learn the the guts of the stuff that you kinda overlook these these little details which um, are what really gonna make you good or bad at doing this because when you do small projects you're not gonna bump into too many problems but when you get into bigger projects more complex websites you're gonna end up with a just big huge mess that's gonna well you don't want to you don't want to go there so I'm just gonna name my things main so that's main dot CSS it gives me the CSS rule definition whatever and um, again here I am going to go right into my container and since I'm here now I'm gonna define a width and a height for this thing so the width is gonna be let's see a good width would be 800 pixels and a uh, height is going to be, um, I think 500 would be appropriate. And that's, I think, the values I use on the last thing. And you know what? Let me give it a background color um, so we could just visually distinguish this thing from the other. There we go. Now, I guess you kind of see my technique is that I use like a hybrid of both Dreamweaver and uh, just straight coding like that because. I just think it faster for me to write with to, I, for, you know I, I, those kind of properties I just know the CSS property and it take me longer to go scrolling around looking for because I feel like I always forget but there it is positioning here it put it in through this dialog but I like to do it manually which whichever way you're comfortable is better uh, is yeah exactly now that's right whichever way you're more comfortable doing is better so better for you the faster you move the the faster you develop and that's really the essence of everything so save this let's take a peek at what this is looking like now alright um, well, we have a box with a set width and height last thing I'm going to do is well the next thing I'm going to do rather is I want to get it in the middle over here so can you do you remember how to do this in the middle I'm going to do it right now think about it well we're going to use margins, right? So we'll do margin left, and that'll be auto. And that is going to give us a, um, here, let me just show you. That obviously is going to push this. So auto left margin, what's this doing? This left-hand side is automatically going to, going to push this thing as far as possible to the right. But we want to have it centered. So the other thing to do is I'm going to put over here, uh, yeah, margin... Why isn't that? I don't like it when my code hints doesn't come up. Margin right equals auto, right? And that is going to center this guy right in the middle, looking good. All right. So far, so good. We have uh, we said everything we need to do for the first step.